Another blast of winter is upon us this morning. Extremely chilly temperatures can put added strain on your car and its battery. That's right. Pat Gallen is in our parking lot now with some special guests from AAA with advice on how to get your car ready for the cold and get Pat ready for the cold. At least he's bundled up. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pat. Breaking news, guys. <sighs> Can you see my breath? <laughs> it's cold out here. And that means car problems will happen. I'm here with Jana and John from AAA. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Pretty cold. How about it's you? Pretty cold. Yeah. So when it's this cold, obviously we have car trouble, usually trouble starting the car. So car battery issues. How do we combat that? Oh, John's the expert. John's there, the expert right? on that one. John, <laughs> tell me. What was the question? Oh, you car battery. You're an expert on car batteries. So when it's this cold, you know, we've got to we've got to combat that. How do we do it? Uh, you get your battery checked frequently because on a day like today, this is when you're really going to test it out. And uh, obviously, today's not the day you don't want to start. <laughs> you don't want to test it out right now. You should test it out before it becomes yes. 16 degrees, right? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Jaina, all right, yes. some other tips and tricks when it comes to the cold weather. You definitely want to check your tire pressure as Ooh, well. That's a good one. The number one and number two reasons why our members call AAA are for dead batteries and flat tires when it's cold. People don't realize the extreme cold has a cumulative effect on your car. Okay. Uh, when it reaches zero degrees, your car battery loses 60% of its energy. So you definitely want to have your car battery checked. Make sure you can get through the winter and check your tire pressure because your car tires will lose one to two PSIs for every 10 degree drop in temperature. So not only the tires, but you want to keep an eye on the car lights as well. Absolutely, because we're going, we're expecting snow overnight. So you definitely want to be visible out there on the road. Sure. Um, as we see salt and brine build up, you want to make sure you clear that off of your lights, make sure the bulbs are all working uh, so that you're visible out there to other drivers. All right, anything else we're missing? Anything important, Jaina, you John? You definitely want to pack an pack emergency kit. Look at it. Pack a kit, have it in your car, leave it there all winter. Emergency jumper cables, flashlights, ice scraper, shovel, um, kitty litter for traction, de-icer, um, hand warmers, which we'll bust into these in a few well, minutes. I'm looking at those pretzels. You know what? Non-perishable snack foods. You no, no one ever plans to get stuck. Sure. So it's not going to be you, but it might not be your car, yep. but you're stuck in traffic. Like, I'm going to be stuck on 95 <laughs> on my yeah, way I'm home. sorry. <laughs> All right, non-perishable foods. Yeah, non-perishable foods. You have babies in the car. Make sure you keep extra diapers, wipes, those kinds of things in the car. Absolutely. You just never know. Great stuff. Thank you so Thank much, you. guys. Thanks for braving the cold. We'll throw it back up to you guys. I'm freezing. I'm coming back up. Always yeah. good <laughs> advice from AAA. Thanks, Pat. Yeah.